We're going to take you right now to the intersection of sports and investing. The owner of the Boston Red Sox is getting credit for his team playing well. His investing is now also getting accolades. Ellen Brayman has the story from the newsroom. Ellen. Hey there, Deirdre. That's right. Well, we're talking about the Red Sox's principal owner, John W. Henry, and his $123 million JWH Global Annex Analytics Fund, that is, ended 2008 with a 91% return for the year in contrast to the 38% plunge in the S&P 500. Now, Henry's on a winning streak after three bleak years at his Boca Raton, Florida-based firm. He uses mathematical models to spot market trends. Certainly, his performance is a welcome change. Just a few months after champagne corks popped in October 2004 for the Sox's first World Series championship in 86 years, Henry's investments began to tank. In fact, his longest-running fund, the financial and metals portfolio, lost 39% from the beginning of 2005 through March 2007. JWH's assets dwindled to less than $300 million by the end of 2008 from a peak of 3.4 billion, that is, in 2005. Now, like most so-called commodity trading advisors, his firm buys and sells commodity futures and options. About half his bets are in areas such as currencies, interest rates, and stock indexes. Oil was his home run last year. Now, when his programs find a trade, he bets as much as six times the assets, about double what peers wager. Deirdre, back to you. Ellen, thanks very much.